And we believe that entrepreneurship can be taught. It is not necessarily born. And that's the message we've been doing, uh, we've been spreading. And actually today there's evidence to show that when you, when you deal with a mindset, when you address the fears that somebody has, when you, when you address the misconceptions that many people have about entrepreneurship, thinking I can't do business because I have no capital, I can't do business because it's not my family, I can't do business because I went to school, I have a degree, why should I go to business? And today we've demystified that and it's amazing how you find people from all walks of life actually pursuing entrepreneurship and doing very well. This comes at a time when the country is preparing for the Global Entrepreneurship Week next week and as it struggles to grow productivity and job opportunities, especially for the youth through entrepreneurship. It is realized that entrepreneurship is what drives economies today. To this end, entrepreneurship pundits believe that such efforts should be complemented at the level of policy with deliberate frameworks to support, especially local entrepreneurs. Other countries that have probably given it more thought say Brazil, for instance, South Africa, uh, we also, Mauritius. These are countries that have deliberately gone in, put in the infrastructure, organized, done enough research, and identified opportunities where these entrepreneurs can go in, supported them to access markets. And also, if you look at their national budgets, they actually have a lot of support for, for entrepreneurship. At the moment, the drive is towards harmonizing and consolidating the country's many entrepreneurship efforts and support to attain the right progress.